Let's talk sex life. Woo. Tell everyone about season two. Okay, season two. So uh, we've got all the juicy stuff from season one is back, all the sex and all the life. Um, <laughs> but um, last season was really about like femininity and sensuality and having, you know, wants and empowerment, you know, and things not to feel ashamed of as a woman. And this season is about second chances. It's mm. about timing. It's about hope. Um, it uh, takes relationship themes, but it's a different angle on it all. Nice. And then you're dating your co-star, Adam, in real life. Yes, what is it like working with your boyfriend? <laughs> it's kind of amazing. Like, yeah. you know, I feel, I feel lucky because I kind of take myself out of the situation and I have like a bird's eye view of myself and him working together. Mm -hmm. And it makes my job so much easier because if it's a love scene or if it's a fight scene or whatever it is, all I have to do is look at him yeah. and the words become real. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like, a, it's like an experiment, you know, it's like a privilege to be able to work with the person you love and also your characters are simulating real life things as well. It actually makes my job a little bit easier. Like I don't have to pretend, which right. is nice. And it makes it that much more real, yeah, right? Yeah. I love that. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, I thought it'd be fun if we talk about some dating deal breakers. Okay, okay. so I'm gonna read the situation and then you'll say if it's a deal breaker or not. Okay. Can you handle that? I can. Hopefully I think you can. he will agree when he watches uh -oh. this. Okay, let's go. Let's see, boyfriend. Okay. All right. They still talk to their ex. Mm, so okay. Deal breaker. Um, I would need to have more information, Jennifer. Because um, if it's a, if it's like a platonic thing and there's a good like friendship and it's respectful. Okay. Um, and, but I feel like I need to meet the ex. Like I feel like I need to get my own gauge on that. Then okay. I'm okay. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Y'all agree? Because you can't, you can't like suppress somebody because of your insecurity. Cause that's also not cute, right? So She's speaking you, need, you need more information. But if anything crosses the line, then that's a no-no. That's a deal breaker. Okay. That's a deal breaker. We don't do that. Do you hear? You heard it. Okay. Um, they they <laughs> they have money, but they dress like they don't. Not a deal breaker because I'm like that. Like meaning I dress like I all my clothes come from a gas station. I have my kids. They make fun of me. It's called gas station fashion, and I'm sure there's images out there. But um, I'm very comfortable being comfortable. <laughs> and that's important, right? I think comfort is king. Me too. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, and I don't know. I think it's cool. Like if you, you know, have a choice to dress up, but you don't, and instead you roll up in your pajamas. I don't know. I, I don't know. I think that's cool. Uh, it would not that. be a deal breaker. It's not I'd a deal breaker. I'd actually like that more. You know. I like. That. I don't like. I like showy. that answer. I love that answer. Okay. Okay. This is an interesting one. Ooh. You caught them reading your diary. Oh. <sighs> Girl. Girl. This also, it's funny, because that's what uh, season one of Sex Life was about, too. The husband, okay. like, reads the diary. Um, oh, God, that's a hard that's one. That's a tough one. Why he reading your diary? I know. I'm going to have to take a major time out if that happens. Like, I need to, like, because that's an invasion of privacy. It it's is. like, if you read someone's intimate thoughts, put it down. Put it down. There's a reason they're on the page. Right. You know what I mean? And it's a diary. And, yeah, it's a diary. That's such an invasion. Right. I don't know, that's a deal breaker. I, that, it's a deal breaker, right, y'all? Because how do you bounce back from trust? Like, how do you, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. I agree with that. Okay. Okay, they constantly post thirst traps. Ooh, that's another one. Um, no, I, I just don't like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if I could be with somebody who constantly did that because that means there's an insecurity of yeah. some sort. They constantly need validation, validation, validation. That's not that's you not You can't hot. really trust that. No. That's not cute. Yeah, why are you putting all that out there all the time? Like, I understand if every once in a while, for whatever reason, right? But all the time? Yeah. That's not cute. That's a little weird. That's not cute. Well, thank you, Sarah, for being here. Will you come back again? Absolutely. And see us yes. and bring all the babies. Okay. okay. I would love nothing all right. more. <laughs> nothing more. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.